Toxic waste at the back cover of Daily News today talking about A-Rod's latest doping scandal. But really, it could be talking about the entire subject of PEDs in sports, both toxic and such a waste. The stories of athletes turning to drugs to get any kind of edge here um, or just to plain cheat, they've been coming at every single day at every single direction. Um, and if anybody had any faith left in sports and level playing fields, you're maybe a little naive, but certainly you probably lost it after the past month. Just look at the players, once considered here um, all-timers, um, now thought of as cheats. Baseball's Hall of Fame rejecting all of these players this year. Uh, among them, greatest home run hitter of a generation. Uh, you got Bonds, McGuire, Sosa, most celebrated pitcher of a generation, Roger Clemens, and even players connected to drugs only with rumor or speculation, names like Mike Piazza um, and others here. Now you can add to that the greatest American cyclist of all time here, who just a few years ago, Lance Armstrong, thought to be perhaps the greatest, not just cyclist of all time, but one of the greatest athletes of his generation. Now he's a punchline on Oprah. And this week, two active players have been added to the ranks. Ray Lewis, superstar linebacker for uh, the Ravens here just days before his final game. Obviously, I'm talking about the Super Bowl this Sunday. Reported that Lewis used a banned substance, deer antler supplement, made by a company called Sports with Alternatives to Steroids. Lewis, for his part, completely denies the report. And then, once again, we have Alex Rodriguez, uh, who, having already admitted uh, to juicing early in his career and claiming that it was a thing of the past, has now been linked to a Miami outfit that reportedly sold performance-enhancing drugs. A-Rod, for his part, and the other players, including mostly pro baseball players, uh, deny the report and suggest that, um, you know, he's a victim in all these denials that given all the realities uh, that we've seen, few people believe. I'll get to his contract in a second, but it's interesting to me, Dominic, the general take from fans is um, exhaustion by this thing. Uh, just resign. Some of them say, I don't care anymore. Let them all cheat. I just don't want to hear about it anymore. I just want to watch the game. Um, and others saying, I don't believe any of them. They're all cheats here and condemning them all with a broad brush here. <laughs> fans have had it with this stuff. Fans have had it, and I think I'm of the latter of your beliefs that uh, that they all do it. We may disagree. Are there the jeeters that we believe do not? There's been no evidence or any. Well, if I any pet, it was pure as driven snow and. So I'm, I'm of the latter belief that they're all doing it for any edge for that bigger contract. That's what it's all about. But people aren't sick of it because the arenas locally are packed. But does it have an element of um, where the fans look at it almost as pro wrestling, not that the results are staged, but that the guys on the stage, whatever the particular sport are, um, they don't know them, they don't want to know them anymore. It's, it's, it's very removed, forget about from a generation, even more recently than that, where they don't know what to believe anymore. And, and I think it's terrible if people say, let them cheat, who cares? Uh, I think that's you know, an indictment on more than just that particular athlete in the sport. I think it says something about where we are today. I, I, I don't know. I, the, 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 the use of drugs in sports, somebody, a wise man once said, is part of a <laughs> culture of intoxication, he said. <laughs> Google it in the word Brodsky. And it's a point worth making. The, 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 we do not have a consistent set of rules about performance or even culturally enhanced uh, things if it involves alcohol, tobacco, that it now is leaked over into steroids is perhaps inevitable and won't change until the attitude towards those kinds of things changes more broadly. Andrew, as a fan, would you be more upset if, let's say, uh, your favorite guy in the Capitals or name a team was caught because it's going to hurt your team or, or more because a guy you liked was less than what you'd hoped? I, I, the first problem would be for the team, but if it was Cal Ripken, my all-time favorite baseball player, or Derek Jeter, or everybody has yeah. one, that would just break my heart. Lance Armstrong broke my heart. Uh, so, you know, it, it, if it's the biggest names, if it's the people we put on a pedestal, Mm. then it becomes a personal thing. I'm already heavy, and you two guys have had, um, from the legal side, and certainly your dealings with the Yankees. Um, have we seen the last of A-Rod, you think? Absolutely not. I, I don't think it'll be easy for the Yankees to toll, uh, cancel his contract at all, mainly because the CBA the, uh, prescribes a, a method for doing that, and it's not easy. He's capable of playing. The allegations are unproven. We don't know the strength of the evidence. I will say this. They'd like to have seen the last of him. <laughs> the, the, at, uh, 
you know, from 2000 to 2003, drugs were rampant in the game of baseball, and you could write it off as a, a culture of, of corruption. For him to have done this, uh, if he did it again in 2009, is absolutely mm. insane. I'll give you a last word, yes or no? Have we seen the last of him in the Yankee uniform? It depends what the evidence is. If he's really up to his, in this kind of stuff, he knows it, and they'll try to work out a way in which he never recovers from the surgery. And make insurance pay the balance of uh, the 113 plus million over five years. All right, quick break, when we come back, um, I want to show you a spot uh, that you'll see in the Super Bowl, but everybody's debating if this thing's funny or offensive. We'll let you decide.